Now, the first thing that you guys might want to do to speed up your MIUI 12.5 experience, and this also is going to work for all the other versions of MIUI. Hey guys, so I've been using MIUI 12.5 now for almost a month and a half, and I've noticed I have quite a bit extra RAM available. And since I have this extra RAM available, I've done a couple things to optimize and overall speed up my MIUI 12.5 experience. I'm gonna show you what those things are today. Now, the first thing that you guys might wanna do to speed up your MIUI 12.5 experience, and this also is gonna work for all the other versions of MIUI, go into an application that you often use go to auto start and you're going to want to enable auto start. Now this will allow the application to start completely unrestricted in the background. Upon doing this, you're going to see that it gives you a warning that it's going to use extra RAM. That's a good thing if you have a device that has plenty of RAM, especially on MIUI 12.5 because it does have extra RAM. Um, having these applications running in the background in my experience has no ill effect. And essentially what this will do is this will keep that application from closing in the background um, or un closing unexpectedly. And we can go through a bunch of these apps. Now I did just try to force close all these apps. Let's go ahead and reopen them. Really quick, are you guys part of my Discord yet? If you're not, the only place to find the link for my Discord is on my Twitter. We have it here right in the Twitter bio. And if you're on Twitter, go ahead and follow me there. I love to talk to you guys and get video ideas on Twitter. Back to the video. Now, essentially, because we have auto start open in, we have auto start running for this application, um, unless you go ahead and force close all of the apps down here, it's going to keep that application open and running. The next tip or trick to go ahead and speed up the overall MIUI experience, and this will help you guys if you're having issues with notifications problems, is go to that application, MIUI Battery Saver, and click No Restrictions. MIUI has a built-in battery saver, which is very aggressive about force closing things in the background. And I often find that when people are complaining about applications being forced closed in the background, it's often because they don't have this option checked. Um, we can go ahead and check all the applications. I haven't opened Spotify yet today. And as you guys can see, everything is held open in RAM pretty well. Let's go ahead and lock the device. Unlock it again. And as you guys can see, those applications have not been closed. The next thing that you might want to do is go ahead and pin that application open. So you're going to want to go into your multitasking settings long press the application, and you guys are gonna have a little lock icon. Now, what I've done is I've locked open uh, the applications which I use frequently so that when I force close everything, those applications are not closed with it. Here, we'll go ahead. And as you guys can see, all of those frequently used applications are still held open. Uh, these are just some tips and tricks that I've found to make better use of the extra RAM that we do have available in MIUI 12.5. I've noticed that overall we have <clears throat> a decent increase in speed with opening and closing apps. Uh, all of my crypto apps run pretty well. Shout out to anyone holding Cardano. If you guys have crypto and you guys want to send me some Dogecoin or some other type of crypto as a way of saying thank you for the content on here, that would be great. 
But even if we don't have this application pinned open, we see that we do have a pretty nice increase in overall speed coming from MIUI 12.5. And a lot of that does have to do with RAM management. Um, and we can open up a bunch of applications here. Let's go ahead and open up another one just to show you guys just how much and what the extent of this background RAM utilization is. Let's open up Google Keep. And I don't, have we turned on Google Keep's background permissions yet? Let's go ahead and do that just to show you guys what that situation would look like without it. Yeah, so we do have auto start. Let's turn off MIUI battery saver for Google Keep altogether. I don't really see Google Keep as being a big battery drain hog. And oftentimes guys, issues that you might have with uh, <coughs> applications not giving you guys your uh, notifications, oftentimes guys, that might be related to MIUI Battery Saver force closing that application in the background. And oftentimes doing some of these little tips and tricks can better utilize the RAM that your device has instead of Xiaomi's silly background killing of apps. Now I do leave on MIUI Battery Saver for applications which I don't use frequently. So over here, that would be something like PayPal, um, uh, the D, my DJI app, my credit card apps. Those are applications that I don't use frequently enough to warrant that. Now, I've never had any issues with getting notifications from Google Calendar because I've uninstalled the stock Xiaomi MIUI calendar. And I do have it allowing to auto start, but I don't have MIUI battery saver. But again, I've had no issues with Google Calendar and it's starting or stopping um, or just overall kind of function. Excuse the crypto apps guys, but they more often than not uh, have to pull information in and they're kind of a good way of seeing how bigger, heavier applications function within MIUI. Um, Obviously, all of the applications that we have open now uh, are still open. And if you guys can see up here, we actually have four and a half gigs of eight gigabytes free or available. So even with all of my pinned applications open, uh, even with all of the apps that we have open right now, none of this stuff is being forced closed. Let's lock the device, unlock it again. And let's just scroll through. So there we go, guys. That is some tips and tricks on how to speed up MIUI 12.5 or just basically any version of MIUI. Uh, but specifically, this is on my Xiaomi Mi 10. I'm still getting eight or so plus hours of screen on time with this device. Uh, it absolutely flies for day-to-day -day stuff, as you guys can see. And honestly, this has just been a great device, good camera, uh, and the performance is really, really special. Uh, I've been doing some of these stupid little... Here we go. Time lapses for when I've been editing some photos and the export time for me to export this photo with a little effect, uh, 1080p, so this is nothing big. It's exporting this like one minute long time lapse uh, into a 13 minute or 13 second time lapse and it's taking like 10 or 15 seconds to do that. 
really, really great, really fast performance on the Xiaomi Mi 10. Snapdragon 865 is still a beast, especially when you optimize RAM management in MIUI. Great performance, really, really good overall experience with very few bugs and stutters and I've been really, really happy with MIUI 12.5. If you guys like these MIUI 12.5 videos, let me know in the comment section down below. 